And we're back. My name is Malika Lim, and we have a very special guest today, Jonas. Who are you? What do you do? And what do we have in front of us? Uh, so um, I work for Helvetic. Mm -hmm. We are a Swiss-based uh, publisher. Wow. Yeah, it's not that common. Did it take a long time to get to Gen Con? Uh, door to door, a good 19, 20 hours, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What a journey. <laughs> But oh, it's fine. It's uh, not too much jet lag mm. this time, so better than Toy Fair. Sure. And um, you guys have a booth here at Gen Con this year, right? Uh, yes, we are in the Entrepreneur Role. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, booth 2956. 2956 in Entrepreneur Role. Okay. Is this like the first Gen Con for? For Helvetic, yes. Yeah. It's the first time we come here. Uh, our uh, American distributor, Toy Smith, sure. uh, took the booth. So there is one person from Toy Smith and yeah. uh, two of us came from Switzerland to uh, demo the game. Amazing, that's amazing. So are you, we only showing one game here at Gen Con this year? Uh, no, so this is the second. Okay. Uh, uh, Ryan from Toy Smith uh, okay. demoed another game uh, oh. two days ago, I think, Team okay. Up. So this is, this is Saturday, the most important day at Gen Con. So here is the game, Cartel? Cartel, yeah. What can you tell me about this game? So Cartel is a game uh, designed by uh, Rainer Knizia. Mm -hmm. So it's a German author of board games. Uh, if you're a board game player, probably you know. Yeah. And uh, Gosh, it's a... Uh, Spiel winner yeah, yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the really prolific author. And uh, it's a two-player, two six-player two, six games. Mm -hmm. Ages uh, six and up, so it's really family-oriented, oh, cool. casual gamer. Uh, uh, is there an optimal amount of players in that range? Uh, I would say uh, three to six. Like two player is a bit uh, more repetitive. Yeah. But it plays quite well. But uh, three to six is where it starts okay. to get a bit uh, more spicy. We're gonna invite some more people to our party. Yeah, yeah, yeah we should. <laughs> and so I see what what are these bandits? They're looking quite sneaky. Lots of characters, bags of money. What is the world of this game? So cartel is yeah world mm -hmm. of gangs, let's say. <laughs> so you have like seven different colors, and in each color you have a boss. Okay. So you have seven bosses. Uh, in each gang, besides a boss, you also have uh, some bags of money, that's a bribe. Oh, bosses and bribes. And then you have their gangsters. Like, <laughs> um, so in, for each color you have like uh, tokens with one, two, and three. three. So they are worth, uh, it's token worth one, two, or three points. Okay. So, and we also have a cop, a little policeman. <laughs> and we're going to take turn making him move around the circle, and catch well, bandits, well, take bribes. Oh, okay, all right. So, um, what's the objective of this game? Like, how do I win? So, in this game, you want to have the most points. Okay. Points are bandits. So, I want to have the most bandits in my cartel. Yes, so you're, <laughs> you're going to make him go around, and when you land on a token, you win that token. Mm -hmm. So if it's gangsters, perfect. If it's bribes, perfect. Okay. If you land on a boss, he goes to jail. <gasps> yeah. Uh, <laughs> as soon as the jail cells are full, the okay. game stops. So you have seven colors, seven okay. boss, but only five places. So there's a little bit of chance. I see a die here. Yeah. So the die is uh, a bit special. It just go from two to four. Mm -hmm. And this is... Um, oh, that's interesting. Only in even numbers. Yeah. No, no, there is a three. Oh, two, three, okay. and four. Yeah, okay. it goes from two to four, yeah. And you can always move by one or okay. two, but then if you roll a four, you can choose to move by three or four. Oh. So you can control a bit where you land. Okay, so there's a little bit of a range. Because yeah. you don't want the boss to go to jail. Actually, you want to, to put the boss in jail if you arrested bandits. So the way you score points is by arresting bandits. But those are worth points only if the boss is in jail at the end of the game. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's negative points. So let's say you arrest like purple uh, gangsters. Uh -huh you will really want to put the purple boss in jail, otherwise these, those will be negative points for you at the end of the game. Okay, so we're playing the good guys in this game. So you can also take bribes. Oh, <laughs> so, as I say, so two, sort of good guys? Yeah, 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 you can choose. So you have seven colors, Yeah. and gangsters are points if the yeah. boss is in jail. Bribes are the opposite. Mm -hmm. If you take a pink bribe, for example, you will want the pink boss to be one of the two boss that is not in jail at the end of the game. Uh, that way, it's three points. Yeah, that makes, that's, you know, I've never done any criminal <laughs> activity in my life, so I'm learning a lot from this game already. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, terrible. So, uh, let's, let's play. I, I'm going to get, I'm going to catch them all. <laughs> exactly. Also, you can start if you want. Okay. So, I said you roll the die. All right. I got and a four. So, you can choose to move by one, two, three, or four. So do you want to take a green bribe, arrest 
three pink bandits, uh, arrest one green bandit, or take a and blue And so I ride. can go only, only clockwise. clockwise. So I would like to take those three bandits right there. Uh, so you move by two. Thank and you. Right now, those are your points. Yes. If the pink boss goes to jail. For the moment, it's minus three. Okay. So that's my turn. So I did three. I could put the green boss in jail, but I don't have any green bandits. Got so it. there is no point for me because maybe you will be the one catching the green guys later. So I will, I will go for the blue bribe. So okay. I'm, I'm betting the You're blue boss. You're already a crooked cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, now I want to help him escape. So Mark, okay. if he's not in jail at the end of the game, this is three points. So you're very likely to be able to land on the blue boss because you have a choice in your die. It's not just the number. Exactly. Okay. So now it's your turn. So actually, you maybe okay, will strategy. be able to right. place him in jail. All right. Oh, so I could go through uh, one, two, three, or four, right? Yes, exactly. All right. Oh. So if you put the blue boss in jail, then my bribe is going to be worthless. It's oh. going to be zero. I, I think I'm going to do that. All right. So I'll go here. Oops. And he's going in jail. All right. So you can flip him over, and he's behind <laughs> bars. That's hilarious. And so now I'm flipping. And he also looks upset, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm flipping my token, and it's worth zero because the blue boss is in jail. Serves you right, you crooked cop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now that would be me. So OK, I need to win some points, so I will go for orange. OK. So if I take your orange boss, then that nulls kind of your points, right? So no, no, no. If the bandits are the opposite of the bribe. So mm -hmm. right now, those are minus two. But yeah. as soon as the orange boss is in jail, they will be worth two oh, points. Got it, got it, got it. Got Same it. for your pink guys. You really want to put him in jail. If you arrest gangsters, yeah. you need to convict the boss. Sure. OK, so let's roll the die. What's, a, what's going on here with this portrait, this yellow boss? He's got. Oh, uh, he's a bit scary, huh? Yeah, I think he has a few bad teeth. Yeah, he has an interesting <laughs> smile. So I have two. You know what? Hmm. So either you take a potential one point, I could or take you a put point. a yellow boss in jail. But since you don't have any yellow token right now. I'm, you know what? I'm going to take the yellow boss because I'm eyeing that bribe. <laughs> the three bags of money right there, so. So right now, if you now that the boss is in jail, okay. if I land on the bribe, it's worthless. It's sure. zero. So I will try to avoid it, and I did two. So You'll just as I said, one, yeah, maybe. I will take the one. The bribe is already worthless. The Good. boss is in jail. Cops doing their job. All right. So I got two. So I think I'm gonna take not the bribe. I want to take the bandit, right? Exactly. Yes. And now both of us have orange, so we sort of have. Uh, have a race. Yeah, we can, uh, we can team up to put the orange boss in jail because now we both want, it, want him in jail. Got it. Okay. When you're a two-player, of course, it's a bit different. Sure. Because I would score two points, you would score only one. Yeah. But if you are three or four player playing, mm -hmm. that way you always create, like, you team up for a while. Like, we will be, okay, well, let's try alliances. to put him. Yeah, 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 let's put him in jail. And the other players will be like, you're let's try to skip him. One ahead. Uh, except none of them is in jail right now. Yeah. So I rolled a three. So I will go for green. <laughs> and that's your turn. Do you know where the inspiration for this game came from? Uh, oh. For this one, honestly, I am not sure. Maybe uh, I just too many know the gangster movies. <laughs> uh, probably. But yeah, this one, the, the, bribe, the bribe mechanism works really well to explain. Boss escapes, bribe is worth, yeah, he's in jail. And this is now points, okay. so you can flip him over. Nice. All right. So my turn, right? Yes, I put him in jail, and then you. No, it's your turn. Yeah. Do these bosses have names? Um, I think the graphic designer gave them some names, <laughs> but I don't remember. There are too many of them. <laughs> so me, I'm taking the yellow because the yellow boss is already in jail, so I know this is Got points. Got it. Nice. Right away. Okay. So I might. Huh. You know what? I think I'm going to. Uh, I think I'll Blue go Blue is three the points. Three, yeah. I'll go there because he's already in jail, so I can flip this over. Yeah, so and I you put him in your like success stack. Exactly. So I have a total of four. Success stack. I like that. So for me, I did a four, but once again, I can stop earlier. Sure. Both are in jail, so I'm going to go for the blue. So you cannot get it. If I was going on the yellow, you would have. Oh, Got in the blue raider. Okay. 
And so we just keep going around. We keep on going so until the, the jail gets smaller. Actually, and smaller. yes, we can even move it a bit so it's easier to see. So what's the end game when all the bosses are in jail? When the, when the jails are full. Okay. So as I said, two will escape and bribes of those colors will be worth points. So four, I think, let's see, one, two, three, four. I have not done anything with any of these colors. Uh, exactly. So which one do you think will end up in jail by the end of the game? If you look, the purple boss is here. He's already up behind. So since and the jails are pretty full, too. yeah. Maybe I'll take this bribe. Yeah, because. Hope, yeah, OK. You never know if we get back to them. It's possible. But if we don't, it would have been negative points. <laughs> so three. Well, I will do what you did to me. So I put him in jail. And now <laughs> your bribe is worth zero. <laughs> and the circle gets tighter and tighter. Yeah, and it kind of gets more and more exciting, too. You can definitely see kind of the physical visualization of the escalation of the game. Yes. All right, four. So one, two, three. Oh. Red is already in jail. I want to get this guy. That's a good suggestion, thanks. Yes, but that way I was sure I would be able to jump over the pink boss, which you have already as gangster. So I will gladly go over it. So this okay. remains negative points for the moment. And I will go here. And this is two points. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this guy in here. I'm going to name him here. You really want him in jail, because yeah. as long as he's out, your gangsters are minus three. Yeah. Two points. All right. So I think I'm going to go for the red. Either. Yeah, you could go for either. But by stopping on the first one, I can stop on the next one. Yeah. So you give me two points, which is very nice. Thank you. Yeah. So well, I will, I I will go get, for blue. Maybe I didn't want you to get in cahoots with all these bribes. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. All right, four. So one, two, three, four. Right, None of them are in jail. Or, you know what? I might go. You might edge your bet and take the pink bribe, so. Yeah. Because so the bribe is never. Or, right? It's like other. Bribes are never negative, right? Right. So if you take the pink bribe and the boss escapes, it will be minus three for the gangster and plus three for the bribe. Sure. And if yeah. you manage to put him in jail, then this gangster will be plus three and the bribe will be zero, so it's even better for you. All right. Splitting my bets. So three, so. You got the orange. Yeah, he's already in jail, so it's easy. That's why if you put some bosses in jail too early, you never know who is going to get the points later. Got it. All right, I have four. Ooh. So you don't want to put the green boss in jail because I have some green gangsters. So you might want to jump over him. But, but why would I try helping you? You're my opponent. No, no, exactly. So if you, if you skip him, this is minus two. It's when he's in jail. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. That's right. I gotta look. But at the same time, this is a boss that might not end in jail, so you take the risk of getting minus three. Too many decisions right now. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. What if I think I'm gonna go here, two, three, four, and take the three bandits? So now you really want and the purple and the pink boss in jail, but there is only one spot left. Well, I could, you know, I could have oh. taken the bribe. Yeah, would have been an option too. Sure. All right. I got two, so I'm gonna. So you put really him want him in jail, even yeah. more than the pink one. But this is gonna be the end of the game. Exactly. Right? Okay. So now the game stops. So, the pink boss escaped. Okay. So the bribe is worth plus three. Okay. But your gangsters are worth are worth minus, minus three. three. So. Okay. This is zero. Sure. And now you just have to count your points count. here. So you count the gangster heads. All right. <laughs> gangster heads. All right, five, eight. I have 12. And I have three and two. That's five, six, eight, nine, 11, 14. Uh, 14, 16, but I have minus two because the green boss is still out. Yes. So I'm going back to 14. Okay, so, so you won by two points. Yeah, it was pretty tight. This was the first time I'm playing this game, guys. <laughs> oh, you did very well. Thanks. No, you were a great teacher. And we are both very crooked cops. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goal. So that was a lot of fun. Is this um, like the 
only way to play the game? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, can you tell me a little bit more about how the gameplay changes with other players? So, uh, the more player you are, the more, um, let's say, interaction you will have. Sure. Because right now, if both of us gets green, let's say you got, like, three green and me, two green gangsters. Yeah. For me, there will be no point in putting the green boss in jail because you will score uh, three yeah. and I will score two. So for me, it's, as soon as we have both the same color and we're just two players, I want him to keep, him to keep him out of jail because you will get minus three and right. me only minus two. Whereas if we are three or four players, right. if we put him in jail, yes, we both score points, mm -hmm. but they don't. Oh. And as long as he's not in jail, we both have negative points. Exactly. So we, are, we have a disadvantage compared to the other player. Mm -hmm. So when you are three, four, five players, there will be a, a much more alliance between yeah. us. We will try to put the boss in jail. We will try to skip bosses that gives points to the other player. So I can see, okay, maybe I will move by four. So then you can jump over the boss for sure. And then they don't put him in jail. So you can, the range is pretty small. It's like going from one to four, your uh, right. moves. So you can look a few turns ahead where you don't want him to land right. when it's the other player turn. Mm -hmm. There's a few times I was like, I hope he only rolls two and not four, so it doesn't have as much range. Uh, so this was really cool. So is when was this game released? Um, so in the US, it's released in January. And oh. in Europe, it's released uh, in March. It was released in March. Oh, cool. So we have it for a demo and play at the booth, so you can test it. And then at Toy Fair, it comes out. Oh, wow. That's so. OK, so I can't even get this game yet. Uh, right now, no. I got so excited. So I want to tell everybody in the Twitch chat, I'm going to pull it up. So if you guys have any questions for Jonas and this lovely cartel game, let me know. And uh, we were having a very interesting conversation before we went live about the journey of a game because this is so interesting. Like, for example, this is the European box. Yep. And how many languages does, um, this, does the rules come in? So this one is in eight languages. Okay. Um, so you got English, French, German, Italian, uh, Dutch, Spanish, Portuguese, and Polish. Wow. So one, one of the reasons is Switzerland is a small market, and we already have three uh, yeah. languages. So we need, anyway, on our own box, sure. French, Italian, German, and usually we also put English. Yeah. Um, and one of the reasons to put multiple languages is that in some countries, which are small markets, right. they will not bring 5,000 units of the same sure. game. So by having multiple languages, we can have like one single production. Let's say we produce 5,000, and then we can split it between eight countries. Okay. So it allows our distributor to start with smaller quantities, a bit less risk for some tests. Um, and then if we have one common stock, and they need a refill before the next production, we can give it to them. Whereas if it was monolingual, it's not possible. Okay. So you guys, okay, let, maybe let's back up. It was so <laughs> interesting to me. So I'm a game designer. I have designed a game, I would approach maybe somebody like yeah. you, Helvetica, right? Yeah, um, Helvetic. Helvet Helvet Helvetica no. is a font. I'm thinking <laughs> of the typeface. Um, I would approach you guys, Helvetic, uh, maybe you guys are interested in it, then you would walk through the manufacturing of that. Yeah, right? and the graphic design part. And the graphic design. So m most of the game designer uh, designs the gameplay. Right. Some of them the will come. Yeah, and mechanics, how to play, the roles. Uh, some of them will have a design. Okay. But it's very rare. Most sure. of the time, it's, it's a gameplay. Then, yeah, they approach us or and then packaging design the pieces. Exactly. So yeah. then, our, uh, in our case, we have a very distinctive design. Sure. So we have our own in-house graphic designer. We don't. We work with freelancers sometimes, but mm, we have two um, in-house designers. Yeah. And so we will like create the design of the pieces, uh, edit the roles, sure. uh, choose the box size, Give and so on. Give these bosses some personalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. Yeah. <laughs> my, my colleague Felix had a lot of fun like designing the seven boss and yeah. uh, trying to find distinctive uh, They're faces. They're very distinctive, yeah. Like, um, like this guy's got a unibrow, cause, and this one is like, oh, the bald guy with the mustache and yeah, the spiky hair. And I really like the box. It's kind of classy, actually. Yeah, it's, for us, it's new. It's the first time we tried this, uh, this yeah, format. Yeah, elongated. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, the, the concept was uh, a bit uh, like a macaron box, you know, like the sweets. Oh, yes. <laughs> and it's like perfect for like next to the cashier. Uh, yeah, and, and you have like a lot of tokens in it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it doesn't take space uh, on the shelves, which is uh, another argument for this yeah. box. I love the vertical design. Are there additional like pieces? 
or is this everything? Uh, this is everything. Okay. So yeah, you have the, the jails and it fits. And, but we will have a, another game in the same collection okay. uh, next year. Oh, all right. We like the box format, so we will keep the format and uh, have a, like, yeah, a, a deal game. Are you allowed to talk about that other game? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, it will be called uh, Deal Maker. It's coming out in Essen this year. Uh, it's a game where you trade with other players, so you can like make some deals and get some uh, so resources. Much it's like money a market. And scheming in your yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the other one is much more oral. Like you, you mm -hmm. negotiate all the time. It's like a bit like when you go to a market and you negotiate yeah. in the market. Like oh, I want this. Uh, give me uh, five peanuts and I give you one gold. It, it will be a game like that. Like uh, like bargaining and bribing and stuff. All right, I'm looking at the chat room. Uh, they're saying that they like your energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's only the third day. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Well, it's the most important day, so you have to bring it. Uh, is this your first Gen Con? Uh, actually, it's my second. Okay. Uh, I did it in 2014 mm -hmm. uh, when I was with Blue Orange. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you are a long-time like, tabletop veteran? Uh, I mean, long time, no, but yeah, I've been in it since 2014, oh, yeah. Cool. I Maybe. joined Helvetic uh, in January 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, were you a tabletop gamer before? Uh, when I was a, a teenager, I was playing Warhammer. Oh, cool, me uh, too. <laughs> <laughs> but I stopped it uh, once I went to university. Yeah, it's a dangerous habit. <laughs> yeah, 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 and it's uh, time consuming, let's sure. say. But yeah, now I play that. So we were telling, you were telling me about this uh, story from designer to graphic design, product um, and packaging design, and then it's manufacturing. Yeah. Right? And then you have, you work with distributors. Yeah. So like, after that, like, what does that even look like? You negotiate deals? Is it kind so, of different for everybody, different countries? Yes, so the, the way it works, um, in our case, in the mm -hmm. US, France, Belgium, and a few other countries, uh, we have distributors who are exclusive and distribute the whole range. So with a few exceptions, uh, they will take all the new games and yeah. distribute them. So they do the sales rep work and deal with uh, retailers online, cool. physical, and so on. And that's how it gets into game stores. Exactly. Yeah. So because we wouldn't be able to do a good customer service all the way from Switzerland, yeah. nor do we want to manage stock in the US. Yes, that makes a lot so, of sense. Yeah, yeah, so we have that. And in some other countries, we have distributors just for one or two games. Oh, OK. That's amazing. And then um, what can we look forward to for our, from uh, Helvetic? So right now, the, the game we just released two weeks ago in the US, Team Up, the one that was, I think, showed two days ago. Um, this was our big, big release this year. It's like a wooden game. Um, we will add a new one in this collection next oh, year. Wow, I love wooden games. And next year, we will have also uh, an outdoor game okay. in wood. A bit in the same vein as uh, Molki, if you know Molki. No. It's like an outdoor game where you throw uh, sticks and try to have some oh. pins fall down. So it's vaguely similar. Mm -hmm. You play in Physical two teams. Game. Yeah. Yeah, 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 a bit of tactic, a bit of skills. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it would be a big wooden outdoor game for next year. So that Sounds should be like big. Sounds like a lot of family-friendly games. Yeah, so we, we really focus family, casual gamer. Mm -hmm. We have a whole range of pocket games you can play with since six years old and older. Um, so that's really our target. We don't do games that takes too long to explain. We, mm -hmm. we prefer like. Too many Short numbers. games, yeah. Yeah, 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 games you can play in five, like 10, 15 games. minutes. Kids, teenagers, adults, like sense. fillers. That makes sense that you also partner with Toysmith because they they do all these toys and stuff for children. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Toysmith is a really big toy distributor. Yeah. And they started to get into board game uh, with us, and now they also have uh, some Spin Master games, oh, yeah. like Santorini. Sure, I've, I might have heard of that. So. Um, we have a little bit more time here, and you have the attention of the internet. Is there anything that you, you want them to know about this game, or this designer, or the artist, or what it's like for you in Gen Con? Also, yeah, maybe Gen Con so far, so since the first sure. time for Helvetic, that's been uh, very positive. Um, we're extremely happy to be here, to be honest. <laughs> it's a great way to meet people, get sure. feedback, see if the game are well received. Um, also to know the market better. Yeah. Uh, it's also great to meet other publishers. It's yeah, always yeah. nice to walk around a bit. We don't have that much time, but we still try to meet some partners. Uh, so it's been really fun so far. And what has the reception been for uh, Cartel? Um, so Cartel in the, in the US, we only showed it to a few blogs. Uh, so far, so good. In, uh, in France, it's out. In Switzerland, too. Sure. Um, 
We have very good feedback. Um, it's, a really, yeah, it's a good start. We, we are happy about it. That's why we will have a second one in the same box yeah. format. We, in Helvetic, we try to have collections. We love collections. Yeah. So we have like a pocket game collection. We have like six titles. Oh, we have cool. a giant matchbox collection, like mm -hmm. games in matchboxes with oh, sticks. Oh, cool. And we have like seven titles. So. And this is your macaron box collection. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it, it was a test. It was well received. We like the format. Cool. doesn't take space. And it looks space. good on yeah. your shelf. <laughs> exactly. So we will probably have at least a second title, mm -hmm. maybe more. We are looking for it. So yeah, also if there is like game designer watching, we always like to play test new games. Yeah. We attend SN, Toy Fair in mm -hmm. New York, in Nuremberg, so we always like to meet new graphic, uh, new designer with family-friendly games. And I think um, this is the first time I've talked to somebody who's showing in the entrepreneur row. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about that area of Gen Con? So um, Toy Smith is the one who applied for it. Right. So as far as I know, it's for um, mostly new, young yeah, companies. It's kind that of up and coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very exciting. So there is a, a few companies that are uh, kick launching their first Kickstarter yes. um, in the few mo uh, sure. coming months. Um, there is a few other small publishers. Uh, and in our case, also, it's when we decided to apply for Gen Con, it was too late to have a normal booth. Right. And <laughs> we, were, we submitted uh, Entrepreneur Row. You actually submit. Um, an application. It's yeah. not first come, first serve. It's no. like they receive uh, X amount of application and then right. they choose based on what you want to do mm -hmm. at Gen Con. So uh, I don't know, they like our application yeah. and we managed to get a booth, so All we're very happy. From Europe. So congratulations. Um, how many other games has um, Helvetic also done? Is this like the one of the first games? No, no, no. Uh, so Helvetic is 10 years old. Okay. It was founded with a first game in 2008. Okay. Uh, first that was, was, yeah, yeah that's, that's a while ago wow. already. <laughs> Actually, we just celebrated the 10 year oh, anniversary so cool. this year. Yeah, we went all the way to Poland mm -hmm. to meet one of our manufacturer yeah. and visit some partners. And uh, yeah, I think, like, what, 40, 50 games maybe? Okay. In the US, we probably around 15, 20, yeah. Okay, wow, that's amazing. Somebody said they, they want us to play the game again. They came a little later. It's a very quick <laughs> game, so. Oh, if you have time, yes. All right, sure. Let's do it. I'm going to win this time. So yeah. do you like shuffle? Yeah, so you shuffle and make a circle, just me. Okay, so we'll just do this. <laughs> yeah, it's not too complicated to set up this one. Then you just make a circle. Yeah. Why a circle and not, I don't know, a square? Oh, you can make a square if you want. <laughs> Depends on the table you have also. You can even make like some S if you don't have enough space. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess so. And then you just go down the line over and over, yeah, and yeah, over yeah. again. Okay. Okay, we need to make it a bit bigger, I think. This is an oval. <laughs> Perfect. As long as we can reach the token when we play. I think your arms are longer than mine. <laughs> yeah, I can help. There you go. Okay. So how many demos are you running on the floor? It must be exhausting. Oh, yeah, we speak all day. Just all day. <laughs> how, many, uh, how many games do you think you've run so far? Oh, uh, how many I explained? Yeah. <laughs> Oof. At least 30 a day, I would say. At oh. least minimum, yeah. Yeah, 30? Yeah, 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 at oh, least. Oh, wow. <laughs> but we are, we are four on the booth. So, yeah, two of us from Switzerland, uh -huh. uh, one person from Toysmith, and actually we partner with um, retailers, uh, um, some of their partner. So uh, one store came to help us for the first two days, and another store is here to help us for the next two days. Oh, so it's wow. also cool for us. We can meet cool. some of the retailers, and they yeah, meet us. that's amazing. So is there any... Um, kind of rhyme or reason where you put the cop or it's just random? No, it's random. Okay. And in the rules, is there something about who goes first? There probably is, okay. and I probably don't know about it. Because <laughs> sometimes it's like the, <laughs> the youngest person at the table. Or yeah, you know, usually usually we have uh, some uh, funky stuff mm -hmm. on who goes first. Um, in this one, actually, I can check. It's a really good question. Yeah, I want to play by the rules, even so though I take bribes as a cop in this game. Um, I will go on the French rules. Okay. Oh, look at that. The rules are just like. Uh, oh like no! A this brochure. this one we went for a classic one. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, randomly draw the first player. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then also, uh, you have to pop out the little um, tokens from. Yeah, the, there is a punch board. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. 
So I mean, you let's okay. Let's go for randomly. Yeah, you, you so the highest eight. number that okay. would be two. Well, um, you can roll again. <laughs> all right, here we go. And a four. Okay. All right, your turn. So, as I explained oh, before, right. but if some people didn't see it, this is a maximum uh, amount of steps you can take, sure. but you can always take less. So you can always move by so one. Up to four. Yeah. So it's up to four. And gangsters are worth points according to the number of heads yeah. on the token. So this is three points if I manage to put the blue boss in jail. Otherwise, minus three. Right. So I'm already making a mental note to prevent him from putting this guy in jail. <clears throat> exactly. If you can jump over him, that would be perfect. All right. I have three. One, two, three. Hmm. I could take a risk and just take that boss and start trying to collect the red. Maybe. But I'm as likely as you to also go on try it, to yeah. collect the red. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and one, two, three, take this uh, ye yellow token. Hopefully, this guy with the teeth <laughs> and the he has oh, yeah, gold he has teeth. Really, oh, yeah. yeah, he has really bad ones. So I did a two. Really bad ones or really good ones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be worth a lot. So I will just go for pink. All right. So hopefully we do not put the pink or the blue boss in jail. Ah. Or maybe... Maybe a bribe. So bribe are worth maybe. points if the boss doesn't go to jail. So since gonna, I want... I'm going to take the bribe and I'm going to try my best to make sure the pink boss does not go to jail. Where is he? Oh, right yeah. here. Oh. So I'm um, two again. So I could go for orange or yellow, but orange boss is right here and I don't know if we'll do multiple rounds. I think you like to put the boss in jail very quickly, so sure. uh, I'm, I might just team up with you and take okay, a yellow so we, one. So we both want to take this guy down now. All right. Okay, four. So one, two, three, four. Hmm. You, you have... Okay, none of us have done anything with purple, red, or orange. Yeah. You know what? You could go on purple, but then the boss is right after it. So if I do a four, I will Stupid. jump over him. But However, if I take if I fail, the bribe, then you'll be motivated to put him in jail. Yes. Right. But I won't be able because the maximum is four. So if you go here, the maximum where I can go is here if I'm lucky. Right, so exactly. All right. You should be able to jump over him, actually. Four. And now I really want him to. I want him in jail, so I'm going to move slowly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, so I. All right. Three. That's three. So I, I'm up to here now. Well, part of me is like, you're gonna put him in jail because I have the money. Yes. But if I just go ahead and just take, now I'm kind of putting. I have a benefit if he goes Edging to jail, your is a good yeah, thing. or if he doesn't go to jail. So if he goes to jail, the bribe is worth zero. Sure. But the bandit will be worth two points. Um, so actually, so right now, what are no you gonna do? <laughs> right now, you're at plus one because this is plus three and this is minus two. Is it a role that you, you have these available? Yes, to it's a role. Okay. Because I could just be like, why are you? No, 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 no. So <laughs> right, right, right now you are at plus one. If I put him in jail, the bribe mm -hmm. is zero, and the bandits are plus two. So it would improve your score a bit. So let, let's keep him out of jail. It's All right. Also, I took a risk, and I have so many colors now. I have a lot of bosses okay. I want in jail. So if it, and there is only five space. So. Sure. All right. So I think we both want the yellow. yellow. Yeah, or even though we both have the same. So I think I'm going to... Except then I'm jumping on the three right away. Yeah. If you but, I, but I'm thinking about jumping on the three. But it's one, two, three, four. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Last time we barely went around twice. Is that normal for our two players? Um, it really depends how fast you push sure. the, bot in, the boss in jail. Right now, we jumped over like four of them already. Mm -hmm. So we might do a bit more wrong this yeah. time. But I really want the pink in jail. So up, three. So now he's in jail. So I'm flipping my gangsters. They're worth two points now. Mm -hmm. And you can flip your bribe, which is worth uh, oh, yes. zero now. OK. Oh, darn And we can tight, tighten a bit, or a little circle. 
so you can feel the pressure. It's like a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so, you know, let's go for the... the uh, where's my red boss? Red is here. You have the money. You know, I'm going to... Go against me. Uh, I, don't, I think, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, I already have so many colors. I'm, yeah, you should get I, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to stick with blue. I cannot put them all in jail otherwise. <laughs> don't want you to get that blue boss in jail because that will give you four points. Yes. So if you could roll up to four. Yeah, if you if move I by went here, it would definitely, if I move one, you wouldn't be able to make I, I, I need a four. And yeah. if I do any other result, uh, okay. I won't be able to put him in jail. Can, uh, two. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm really <laughs> okay today. <laughs> so he is in jail, so my gangsters are now Worth, worth points instead of being negative points. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. More purple? More purple. Let's put him in jail. Oh, he's <coughs> all the way over here. I think we'll go around this way. Uh, there is still three spots. Two. All right, I'm going to go for more purple. So now if I can go to a four again and jump over the... <sighs> I told you I'm lucky today. <laughs> Oh darn it! I like the the bit of the balance of chance and strategy, uh, cartel. All right, two. Well, well, well. I think we both want the yellow boss, and I still have. Oh right, right, right now I don't want him in jail anymore. Oh, because you you're have... at minus five at, at minus two. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. If we are more than two players, Got we it. would definitely both try to put him in jail. But because we are only two, as soon as you have more points than me. I will try everything I can to jump over him again. I might want to mitigate that. With the bribe. Yeah, with the bribe. Because I'm not collecting orange right now, so we'll see. Yeah, it might be not a good time to start a new collection. Keeping a small amount of color is usually best. Yeah. But at so <laughs> the you're not following your own advice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was too happy jumping over some boss. Sure. So the blue boss being already in jail, this is worthless. Mm -hmm. Um, Pink Boss, however, he's in jail, so this is two points. So, yeah. Okay. All right. What am I going to do? There is a lot of bribes here. Yeah. Okay, two. Oh, so this is worth zero, the boss is in jail. Mm -hmm. And this. Oh, you already have green, actually, so. Yeah, I'll go for the green. So, I don't want the red boss in jail. And you want him in jail. Yeah, I do want him in jail. <laughs> and you're going to be able to put him in jail. Yeah, because I can jump over it this yes, time. Yes, exactly. So you're going to either take a bribe from blue, orange, or green. Yeah, I'm going to bet on green. OK. So I definitely could collect oh, you can, red, yeah, which is what whatever I you want, roll. Because that will negate your bribe. Oh, yeah, it's really good for you. Yeah, this is great. So my bribe Oops. is zero, and your bandits are worth three points. Yes. Finally, I got some points here. Yeah, I'll stay. <laughs> but I, I have more, you know, organized collection. All right, okay, so. You can jump over the orange boss, and this will be negative points for Of course, for me. I will do that. Okay, two. Oh, perfect. Pink is already in jail. Oh, cool. So I do get these points. And you get three points, yes. the most you can. Two. Oh, well. So this is directly points, mm -hmm. and we can like, this Yeah, the circle is really small. This time we went around much more. And there is still two spots in jail. We're very tricky about the bosses. Yeah, but I think you are going to put him in jail. I am going to put him <laughs> in jail. Oh, wait. Oh, I have choices here. OK. Uh, so oh, it's three, exactly the same, actually. Five. Yeah, five or five. And I have the, OK. But. But yellow would give me more points than purple. I want to take purple. Purple is much better, but yeah. But you will probably also... I will not put yellow in jail. It gives you way more points than me. Yeah, but then that would be end game, And you're ahead. 
Um, the thing is, the, the success stack, we keep it in one stack. So that you and I was ahead, but now that you are scoring five points uh, with okay. the purple, I, I'm having some you're, doubts. Yeah, you're in doubt. I don't, I don't remember what I have in it. Yeah. Do I have like ones or threes? Yeah. And also the bribes are just zeros anyway. Yeah, and, and I, I mean, right now I mm -hmm. also have a lot of... Oh yeah, you have more negative points. Oh, maybe I put him in jail, yeah. <laughs> no, okay, let's... Yeah, let's keep it going. Okay. Uh, I just really don't want the green boss in jail. That would be terrible. Oh, that would be great for me. All right, four. So one, two, three, four. I would probably invest more in the green. But then blue were points, already safe ones. Uh, and now I can get them. Okay. OK. But now, oh yeah, now you have a chance. If you do a four. Ah, uh, perfect. <laughs> All right. So this is, this is interesting, though, because this is the end of the game, and I so still don't know who this won. This is one. And me, I have. Minus four. Okay, and I'm gonna be my. This just turns to zero, right? Uh, no, no, because no. the boss is out. This oh, is plus three. So three. this this negates. Yeah. Minus five. Yeah. So this so, is plus so three, and of, those are minus five. But yeah, yeah they, so this is gonna be minus two. So you have mi yeah minus two. Yeah. And we have minus four, and let's count. All right, four. I have 16 again, but this time I have minus 4. I so I have only 15. 12. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. That was fun. I picked that up pretty quickly. You said you would win, and you won. <laughs> I also wanted to roll a 3 that time. It didn't <laughs> happen. So that, I think, really proves to me that this is a great game to bring with your family, play with your nieces and nephews, your cousins. Yeah, it's up to children. six players, so you can be quite a lot around it. Yeah, that, that sounds, that was great. And how long did that take? That took, um, like, what, 15 minutes? And we were explaining it. Yeah, 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 it's, it's pretty yeah. quick. And this second game, we did a bit more turns. So I would say, yeah, around 15 minutes, give or cool. take. If you're a six player, of course, a bit longer than when you're two. So I have a quick question. Is there any plans for an expansion or a sequel? No, we, we do we do like really family oriented mm -hmm. games. Uh, it, it's usually we don't have expansion, but we have collections as I said. Sure. So, so what's like, the next macaron game? <laughs> so I say it's a deal maker thing where okay. we trade cards, and also it will be out in Essen okay. and probably Toy Fair in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, when is the when is Essen? Uh, October. October. Um, so around the twenty fifth, I think. Mm -hmm. And where is that based out of? In Essen, in Germany, it's yeah. uh, it, it's pretty cool if you have a chance to go. Yes. It's really different from Gen Con. Exactly. G Gen Con is one hall with publisher and a yeah. lot of other halls with a lot of things happening. Right. Essen is maybe uh, eight halls, but all of them are filled with publishers. There is no like oh. free gaming space, not too much. It's you play on the publisher booth. It's more commercial. Uh, it, it's like it's more focused on purely board game. You mm -hmm. don't have as much magic, the gathering, or, uh, or like role tabletop playing. Yeah. RPGs. It, but in terms of the the width, like mm -hmm. the number of different publishers, you can see. Um, you, you have all the international one, even the small one. You will have like Taiwanese, Japanese publishers, oh, and interesting. Korean publishers, which are who mm -hmm. are not here. Uh, no, in Essen, if you want to see games from all around the yeah. world, it's really cool. Um, I would love to know more about just the gaming scene in Europe. I've never been, and I know it's completely different than America. What have you kind of noticed? Yeah, so it's, um, if we compare it still at the convention level, yeah. um, Gen Con will be more gamer mm -hmm. than Essen, in a way. Yeah. So I think in the US, the, um, the gamer part is still pretty big. Uh, in Europe, it's big too, but if we take France, I, I don't know very well the other markets. Mm -hmm. I know Switzerland and France. Um, France is a bit bigger, it's very developed, it's one of the biggest uh, board game market. Uh, and the casual, casual plus uh, games sure. uh, are really big now. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still have like very, very heavy games. Right. But um, let's say games between 15 to 45 minutes, mm -hmm. that retails around $20 are a really big segment of the market right. now. Mm -hmm. No, I actually, I would say because of Amazon and crowdfunding that party games have just exploded and just yeah. changed tabletop gaming around the world. Oh, yeah, 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 like party games are huge. and But Amazon is not as big in France as here. Yeah. That, that's the main difference. Mm -hmm. um, France and Switzerland, uh, we are really lucky to have a really, really strong uh, 
uh, board game stores yeah. uh, around the country. You, you really have a lot of them, like board game specialized board game stores mm -hmm. in city centers in France and in Switzerland. It's not uncommon. Um, yeah, there is a very very strong uh, gaming yeah, store community. Gaming like uh, community. And and the board game stores are not like figurines. They're actually sure. pure board games. Just board games, not just um, not collectibles and comic books and other so, stuff. So yeah, we're, we're really really lucky as mm -hmm. publishers to to have that because that way when you have a good new game yeah. and stores like it, they will get the word out. Whereas when you if you have on, only online. Mm -hmm. Uh, the game can be good or not. At first, it's right. like, how do you rank it better in yeah. Amazon? And that's more marketing than actually having like passionate sure. people recommending your games to players. So it sounds like you guys work very closely with your distributors to convince like retailers to carry a game. Yeah. And what is that like? Like, do you just play the game and be like, do you think this is great? So yeah, that's. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's at least how we do it in Switzerland. Yeah. That's. Uh, in Switzerland, we distribute ourselves, so we visit the stores, we make them play the game. Yeah. That way, they played it, they can see if they like it, and you only sell what you like. So sure. if you don't go, you don't visit, uh, then it's harder for the store to understand. to understand it. So unless there is a big buzz and mm -hmm. a big demand for like casual games, sure. the, I, I still think it's the best way to visit the stores and make them play. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, I have a, something that I'm always curious about. Do you feel that a, when you make these standalone small party mm -hmm. games like this, they have a lifetime where they're released, so people are talking about it, and then they, they die? So it's, it's, I think it's longer than a gamer game, unless, sure. so a gamer game, unless it becomes huge, yeah. you will have the buzz, if there is buzz. Mm -hmm. So people, everyone who wants it will buy it right away. Because people who buy, like, let's say, sixty, fifty dollar games, big ones, they they follow the news, let's say. Right. So they know when it's coming out; it's expected. And they, if they want it, they will buy it right mm -hmm. away. So three months after, everyone who wanted it will have it. Okay. So unless it becomes really big, word of so mouth, and it reaches like another, peaks. yeah. And otherwise, maybe after that, it can reach another crowd, if the word of mouth starts. But otherwise, you have three months. Whereas, for those type of games. People who buy it, they don't care if it came out a month ago, or six months ago, or a year ago. So either it comes out, it really doesn't meet uh, its public, then it dies pretty fast, there is no reorder. But otherwise, it can last four or five years easily, because um, you, you, people who will buy it are not the one who will say, OK, oh, I want to buy it, but it's already six months old, and there is a new one coming now. It's like, no, it's a nice game. I played it yeah. at my friend's place. And then you have more, more time to create word of mouth. But it, it's getting tougher because there's a lot of new releases, so it needs to start strong, but it can stay longer. Oh, so it has kind of a, a, a longer lifetime and sustainability. Possibly. If it succeeds, if yeah, it succeeds, if it's a yes. Good game, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we have about um, what, 13 minutes or so. Um, if there are any people who are want, you know, they're a designer or they want to publish, you know, their friends' games, like they're an up and coming, like want they want yeah. to be an entrepreneur's row, like. Uh, what advice do you have for them? So if they want to publish a game uh, as or an author, yeah. Or, yeah. So as as an author, or how would they talk to somebody like Obed? So actually, I think in in board game, it's great. It's still really mm -hmm. uh, people are really easy to reach. So the the best way for a new author is yeah. to just send an email before any big con a trade show or convention, and usually most publisher will gladly take a meeting, take a meeting fifteen minutes, half an hour meeting. To meet even new um, new authors, oh, cool. you, usually they will ask maybe to read the rules first. Sure. So please send me the rules, and if the rules are cool, they will be like either send me a prototype mm -hmm. or okay, let's meet. SN is in a month. Okay. You can come and uh, show me your game. Uh, we still take walking also, so okay. even if you don't have a meeting and you have a game and you want to show it to us, oh, cool. uh, you can come over. And if someone is available, uh, like uh, my colleague, my yeah. boss, uh, we will play it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think it's still pretty easy to meet publishers, and publishers are always eager to meet new authors because you never know. Yeah, that's like very promising and inspiring for anybody who's like, I have an idea for a board game, or I, I, I know these people who have sit, sit on prototypes and they've like been polishing it for years, and they just, I guess they don't have the courage or they're yeah, it, a little intimidated. It, it takes like, I think being a board game author is like half of it is sales. You, mm. you still have to sell your prototype to the yeah. game publisher. And the biggest advice would be learn how to explain it. Yeah. Because if you come to a publisher, meeting or no meeting, right. 
if you can't explain the game that's, in a very understandable way, that's hard. <laughs> especially, you know, if it's in the middle of SN mm -hmm. or Gen Con, you will be tired. Yeah. Publishers will be tired. They have meeting all day. So, right. if it's a complicated game and it's not well explained, right. you we will just not get it. <laughs> and since we can play test like 20, 30 yeah. games a day during those shows or more. Yeah. Uh, the, the first impression is super important, so you really have to rehearse your speech. Wow. Uh, that's, yeah, so you said speech, so I should prepare, like, oh, if yeah. I can describe my game in five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Yeah, it's like, at least during the first minute, you need to explain mm -hmm. what's the goal right. of the game. Uh, and also, it's now, nowadays, I would say it's really important to know what's your target. Yeah. So is it family game? Uh, a gamer game, uh, cooperative, do you play solo, like mm -hmm. how many players? And mm, often it, we, we will meet some uh, authors, we'll have, okay, I have like sure. 10 games. Among those 10, there is like those four are for families, those two are for kids, those three are so more party. So you fill their, your roster. And, and, and exactly, they will come and they will tell us this and we'll be, okay, out of the 10, right now family games, we already have mm -hmm. enough for next year, so maybe we want only to see the party game. So. Right. If you come and you can tell us what's the, what's the target, mm -hmm. then we can decide if we want to play right. test it. Whereas if you show it right away and we are really not looking mm -hmm. for it, you lost your time and we wow. lost our time. Wow. Uh, and yeah, the first minute, like learn how to say what's the goal of the game. Like sure. don't, don't expect right. without saying the goal. You got to have your elevator <laughs> pitch down pad but publishers are willing to meet. That's great news for people. And then in terms of, um, I'm also very curious about this as a designer. Um, if I am in the process of iterating and play testing my game, is there like a target number that a good designer should be like, I have play tested this game with 100 people or 30 people, you know? Because sometimes it's hard to, to yeah, test Yeah, to find people, much. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Honestly, I think it really depends on yeah. the complexity of the game. Sure. Like, uh, the so how about like something like this? That's a, it's more family friendly, more casual. Yeah, I mean, th this one, uh, I don't know how many times the author tested it. Sure. Uh, on our side, oh. um, a game like this, where the mechanic is not too complicated and it's yeah. easy to see if there is no bugs. Right. Uh, oh, we played it like maybe ourselves like 10, 20 times wow. and we played it, uh, but yeah, over six months and mm -hmm. then we probably played, tested it uh, I think one time we like every year once a year we try to invite uh, the Basel game club to oh, come cool. <laughs> and we test with them the new new games uh, my boss tests it with his kids usually also oh, so okay. when it's a kids game he will play test it with his two daughters mm -hmm. uh, and some friends also who sure. have kids over so yeah but it's not too complicated as a sure. game so like around yeah 10 20 times oh wow amazing well even like internally like 20 times that's a lot yeah I mean it's but you've already, you said, like, run this game, like, 30 times at Gen Con. Yeah, 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 no, exactly. It's like you, you, you play it, like, two, three times. You're like, okay, it seems good. Let's mm -hmm. play test it more. Then you play it with the rest of the team. So, you know, maybe you played it, like, once or twice, and you show it to the rest of the team in two or three separate occasions. Yeah. So already, like, five, six times. And then when you design it, you, re you play it again. When you write the rules, you play it again. Okay. Um, can you remind us where, because this game isn't out yet, uh, where can they get it once it is out? So Especially because we have people watching from anywhere on Twitch, right? Um, so in the US, uh, I think in most toy and game stores who want to order it, mm -hmm. uh, once it comes out, it's through Toysmith. So Toysmith has a really, really good network. Right. Uh, but then, our, I don't really know who their mm -hmm. clients are. Okay, they have like, sure. like uh, 2,000 or 3,000 right. uh, toy stores clients. Okay. Um, or maybe online somewhere. Uh, it will be it will be online for, for sure. sure. Um, Probably the online retailers that work with Toysmith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, mm -hmm. it will it will be online uh, on probably most platform, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, all the stores can order it. I think Toysmith has really mm -hmm. a lot of clients. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, where can we find more about Helvetic? And then also all the little collections of games. It sounds like different categories that you guys are building. So uh, it's three uh, W Helvetic, mm -hmm. which is H E L V E T I Q. It's on the bottom of our yeah. oh, of the perfect, screen yeah. on the overlay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, because it's not super easy to spell when you just hear yeah. it for the first time. So yeah, on our website, you will have everything. We have a YouTube channel also. Oh, cool, what's uh, on the YouTube channel? Uh, for this moment, we try to do uh, rules. Mm -hmm. uh, how to play. Yeah, how to play. 
So we don't have all the games yet. Sure. Uh, this is one, this game? Uh, okay. We are at the last stage of reviewing, like maybe for, for, uh, fourth review of the video. So okay. I think within two weeks it will be out. Yeah. OK, amazing. Uh, and we have most of the pocket collection I was mentioning. Cool. It's there. So let me tell uh, can you elaborate? Did you say that you had like matchbox games? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have uh, games that are roughly this size. Sure. Uh, are they all card games? So they are all card games with uh, wooden sticks. So okay. in every box, you have like uh, cards and sticks. But what are the sticks for? Um, so it depends on the game. We have like a word game. We have a domino style game. Oh, okay. We have a game of visual logic. All so right. the concept is to have a giant. The box is actually mm -hmm. a giant matchbox. So it actually slides from the inside. OK. And on the side of the box, we even have the little uh, texture. So it mm -hmm. feels like the side of a so it, real it, matchbox. It's, it's not just the shape like this. It's actually a matchbox. The, the box is actually similar to a. Mm -hmm. uh, like oversized sure. uh, matchbox, yeah. and inside you always have cards and sticks. But then we have seven different titles. Mm -hmm. There is like party game, uh, a trick taking game, sure. also from uh, Knesia actually mm -hmm. called Zen Master. Um, yeah, we have a word uh, word guessing game. Oh, cool. uh, there is a lot of uh, whole Amazing. range. It's all six plus, eight plus sure. in terms of age. And then also, um, can you talk about how much this is going to retail for? So mm -hmm. this one uh, is eighteen euros. So in US. Dollar, it should be around twenty to I twenty-two. I yeah. <laughs> uh, because yeah, right now something like this. So yeah, no, I think it's a one and a half for. Uh, yeah. uh, it's closer now. No, no, yeah, now it's uh, the euro became strong so sadly. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we know that almost because you know yeah. we, we buy uh, we sell in euro we, we buy in dollars so yeah, no it should, it's almost on par. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, and thank you for everybody who is tuning in here. Yeah, thank you. And. Make sure to visit Helvetic on the Gen Con floor. If you're watching this when you're in line and bored, you don't know what to do. They're on Entrepreneur's Row. Uh, yeah. What booth uh, 2956. 2956. Thank you so much for sh This is fun. I think I would like play this with my like nieces and nephews. I think this is the perfect game. And um, and I want to know more about these bosses. <laughs> How did, why are we putting them in jail? Uh, they probably did something bad, but I mean, if you take bribe, you can. Help mm -hmm. some escapes. All right. Uh, are we ready to transition over? Thank you so much. Take care. Oh, thank you. And don't go away.